created a tale of two economies those who were able to save and invest and those who struggled to make ends meet financial advice remains the same pre and post pandemic that it's important to build up an emergency savings fund and create a financial plan covid 19 also highlighted the need to have a budget however small it may be so by the end of today's webinar we would gain the knowledge on how to cope up with the current scenario by optimizing our savings and investments and we would understand about the basic personal financial strategy new trends in the market re regarding finance basic savings and investment skills and tax implications after covid 19 so stay tuned till the end and now i want dr nazia sultana ma'am senior assistant professor and webinar convener to make uh, to take over and ma'am you inspire us every day in the classroom so let's begin uh, thank you priyanka uh, good morning all uh, it's a great opportunity for the college uh, to associate with the association of mutual funds uh, we have with us uh, professor vijulata ma'am uh, she is the principal of our prestigious college uh, and she is leading the path uh, towards the college to become a university soon Uh, we have with us Dr. B. Shailaja. She is the vice principal, and a proud moment for me because she is my colleague from the Department of Commerce, and she is the vice principal of the institute. Uh, we have with us Professor M. Gangadhar, um, who is the head Department of Commerce and has been always supportive in all the events that we do in the uh, department. Uh, we also have many of our colleagues who are joining, um, uh, Sabiha Ma'am, and others who are there. and uh, uh, above all we have the keynote speaker without whom this particular session wouldn't have been possible professor uh, suryakant sharma and i welcome all the esteemed colleagues who have joined from different colleges students who have joined amidst their uh, examination schedules and um, all the learner professors who have joined from other institutions uh, in and out of hyderabad it was an overwhelming response that we have received uh, for this particular webinar where we crossed uh, you know uh, it went beyond uh, what i expected actually uh, though we have only 251 participants as of now joining us uh, but we have uh, registrations which are near to around um, uh, you know five times this number so it, it is nice that to see so many people registering and i hope that uh, they will soon join this uh, uh, session as well um, now associating with uh, mutual funds of india this association which is very prestigious is um, uh, good for us as well Uh, because we look forward to uh, many future associations and many of our students uh, also having to seek some kind of placement and career guidance from you all uh, because uh, bcom is one course and association of mutual fund is one thing uh, where um, uh, we would be uh, aligning our activities with your what you do so that our students can have a better career prospect uh, in future this particular uh, webinar that we planned is basically post covid so we wanted to highlight in what way uh, what kind of savings and what kind of investment decisions people can take and um, what kind of tax implications are there because most of us who have joined are also non commerce uh, people who uh, do not have much idea about uh, this kind of a stream and because covid has hit us very hard uh, so uh, this webinar i felt is very much apt and when uh, sanjay sir asked me about what is it that you want us to talk about uh, one thing that principal ma'am also told me was why not uh, do it on um, something which is common understandable to everybody and common interest to all so that's how we thought savings and investment would be something which is uh, of interest to almost everybody who would start earning or who is actually earning so uh, i welcome everybody once again to this webinar and i thank uh, um, our uh, principal ma'am vice principal ma'am hod sir sanjay sir for coordinating rajgopal for being there all the time uh, priyanka there and all others who have joined i hope you have a very learned experience uh, throughout the day today and you take forward whatever inputs are being given from the keynote speaker to our daily lives as well i once again welcome everybody thank you priyanka yes ma'am thank you nazia ma'am and now i want professor m gangadhar sir who is a head head of department of commerce to speak a few words good morning everybody so i would like to speak about the covid and uh, i welcome to all our the webinar for the our organizing to the collaboration with association of mutual funds of india this taking into the account of the market we have investors to need adapt to the careful path of the marketing investors 
and spreading to the egg into the different baskets so that we can be healthy financially today we are on savings and investment post covid and it is implications i thank our uh, beloved principal madam professor vijulata ma'am for the constant encouragement and strong support system that they has extended to us without which we would not have been organizing all the these programs i extend my heartfelt thanks to the keynote speaker the surya sharma senior consultant amfi for accepting to the our invitation i thank our vice principal dr b sairaja for all her contributions in strengthening to the department and finally i appreciate and congratulate to the, our organizers dr nazia sultana and the dr d uh, uh, raj gopal for their efforts in organizing such a need based program thank you very much for one and all thank you gangadhar sir and now i introduce dr b shalja ma'am vice principal from our department we are proud of the fact that shalja ma'am is from the department of commerce ma'am can you speak a few words since she is not here since she is not here uh, good morning uh, i think the host has uh, not enabled me to unmute so just now i got the option so am i audible yes ma'am yes so respected principal ma'am professor m vijulata madam head department of commerce professor gangadhar sir webinar convener dr nazia sultana ma'am co convener rajgopal sir today's speaker uh, sri suryakant sharma sir sanjay sir and my colleagues from the department other faculty members delegates and my dear students good morning to one and all first of all i would like to thank priyanka for taking this initiative of welcoming each and everyone so nicely so good priyanka so thank, thank you, you. so i welcome all of you to this webinar azadi ka amrit mahotsav webinar on the talk that is the savings and investment post covid 19 and its tax implications so on behalf of koti women's college i invite each and every one to this uh, wonderful talk which is very very important in today's scenario i also congratulate department for selecting such a appropriate topic because we have seen what all has gone in this corona and especially in our college also we have seen that uh, many Uh, faculty members have faced this situation they are aware with corona they have faced so many financial obligations and all those things we have lost few faculty members because of corona in spite of spending so much of money so in corona period we were like financially mentally physically emotionally everything we have been affected so we have also seen in many cases that because of financial crunches they were unable to go for the treatment also so what corona has given us the teaching that every time we should be ready with our some of the amount which we could spend in emergency cases so i think today's talk we will know how we have to save our amount money how we have to invest so that whenever necessity arises we will be in a position to spend it so thank you i think this webinar will give a insight into how we are going to save how we are going to invest our uh, income and all the uh, whatever amount we are having so thank you department of commerce for giving me such an opportunity to enroll uh, enter into this webinar and talk on this occasion so thank you i feel that it will be a successful program because 
this is a need of the hour everyone want to save the money everyone want to invest the money so i think you will be getting a fruitful discussion on this program thank you one and all for giving this opportunity thank you shalja ma'am for your valuable words and now i invite our principal professor m vijlata ma'am she is a professor from department of chemistry and has many research projects going on and is leading our college towards becoming a women's university thank you ma'am uh, good morning to you all uh, vice principal dr shailaja dr sabiha and head of the commerce department professor m gangadhar and the people behind this webinar dr nazia and dr raj gopal and we thank association of mutual funds for collaborating for this webinar and i would like to invite the keynote speaker professor suryakant sharma garu senior consultant amfi for this webinar and this webinar is very important for today's life being post covid era we have uh, seen how covid has re uh, actually vandalized our lives and uh, this savings and investments have always been a uh, cornerstone of a growth and a developing country and the savings what we have done have helped us in this covid period and now everybody is feeling that savings has to be there whenever we are in such situations these situations have taught us that savings and investments have become an important um, thing in our life the india and many other nations of the world have suffered not only medical emergencies during covid pandemic but also have uh, a loss of livelihoods employment and sources of income so post covid as a economy is recovering we see look forward to new avenues of savings and investments and also their related tax impacts so all these put together uh, today's generation should learn as to how they should invest and save their uh, money so that in any given situation that should come to their rescue so i feel that this seminar uh, webinar will bring forth knowledge on these issues and help the participants understand the importance of savings and investment scope post covid 19 and its tax implications thank you hello thank you ma'am for your valuable words now i invite dr nazia ma'am to introduce our respected keynote speaker sri suryakant sharma sir thank you principal ma'am and uh, vice principal ma'am for your uh, encouraging words and support to this webinar uh, we are very glad and uh, it's a prestige and privilege for our institution to have uh, a speaker like uh, uh, sir suryakant uh, sharma sir Uh, sir is a commerce graduate and a uh, master in law with specialization in corporate laws uh, sir is a chartered associate of uh, indian institute of banking uh, and finance and has over 35 years of experience in banking finance and securities market sir has served initially in many leading financial institutions uh, after, uh, thereafter in the department of financial services ministry of finance government of india and then in sebi for more than 15 years uh, uh, sharma sir joined uh, uh, sebi in 2003 and served there for more than 16 years in different departments of sebi uh he uh, in one of the assignments that he joined he was the dgm in charge of the office of investors awareness and education in sebi's northern region for more than 5 years uh sharma sir in our college we also have had uh, um, investors awareness program and education for our students as well so as a part of your initiative of um, office of investors awareness and education of sebi
Ravi, we also had conducted a few of these. Uh, Sharma sir is also a member of the working group of NCRT for developing vocational courses on mutual funds for the students of um, 11th and 12th standards. Uh, sir also is a mentor of few NGOs who are working for financial literacy and investors awareness in the country. Uh, under his supervision, more than 15,000 financial literacy and investor awareness programs were being conducted across North India. And he was in SEBI and addressed uh, uh, more than 600 investors awareness program as a speaker. After superannuation from SEBI in 2019, Sir joined Association of Mutual Fund, uh, which is an apex body of mutual funds in India as a senior consultant. And Sir is spreading awareness uh, um, among people about investments and all. Uh, during pandemic, that is since May 2020, uh, Sir has been interacting with thousands of investors and students groups uh, through more than uh, 250 webinars in many reputed educational and professional institutions, corporate bodies, startups, uh, government departments, public enterprises, many of the research institutions, uh, many professional bodies across the country. Uh, I, I am um, personally looking forward to hearing and learning a lot, sir, from your experiences uh, that you have had in life, which you would be sharing with us in uh, today's webinar and enlightening us uh, about savings and investment and the tax implications for the same. I am overwhelmed your, by your presence and I welcome you once again uh, for this particular webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Dr. Najia. Thank you very much for uh, giving me opportunity to interact uh, through you uh, to your faculty members and, and staff and students of your esteemed educational institutions. I am honestly delighted to be with a woman-centric institution because Dr. Najia, you will agree with me that very honestly speaking, even working women take least interest in saving, in investment particularly. They do save, but when we talk to them, they are very honest, most of them, that investment part, I don't look after my husband take care of it, my brother takes care of it, my father takes care of it. So it is very enlightening for me that you have taken the initiative that your students and female professors and faculty members and students and staff members should also equally be encouraged and, uh, and sensitized about the importance of taking active part in the investment philosophy of their families. So I am honestly thankful and I am always happy when I uh, take session in women-centric organizations and in uh, and Dr. Naji, again, thank you very much. It's very true, sir. Uh, you know, women take le le least interest in uh, savings, though we do save. But when it comes to investment, our decisions are all, uh, you know, not very logical uh, as such. So this webinar, I hope uh, personally to me also, uh, I would be more uh, um, inclined towards more of investment rather than, you know, just saving, but more of investment I would be inclined towards. Thank you once again, sir. I look forward. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, two, three things I wish to mention here before my, uh, I start my session, Dr. Najia. First, I would be very, uh, uh, rather I will request all, uh, at least four or five videos are on from the organizing team members so that I feel, I feel connected to all of you. Because if all videos are off, sometimes a feeling do crept into whom we are talking to. Or uh, So I want it to be an interactive session. So I would be very happy and rather feel obliged if four or five videos are on during my session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jinat ma'am. Uh, we have our students with us. I would request all our uh, students Not who have joined uh, to uh, um, uh, join us uh, through a uh, physical interaction uh, through our web cameras here with uh, Surya Khan, sir, so that uh, we get more of uh, connectivity with each other. Uh, not all will do, at least four or five. Few, maybe, of, maybe, few, uh, of, them, few yes. of them, if you keep your... Thank you, thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, because Priyanka was speaking without uh, keeping her video on. Now she, I can see her. Thank you, Priyanka, for the nice introduction you, to sir. all the speakers. Thank you. Two, so three much. things I My wish pleasure. to mention here. Uh, Dr. Najia, uh, uh, kindly permit me to take your name and again and again during my session. Because through you, I will be connecting to all the parts. That's the only purpose. I am not saying that I will be addressing to you only. But the purpose is through you and other genus uh, ma'am and other uh, the faculty members, I will try to connect all the participants. That is my sole purpose. Sure, sir. Sure. Two, three things I wish to mention about the program. Respect, for, but before that, I am thankful to respected principal, 
respected vice principal hod sir and all the faculty members and the students who have joined this program dr najia this program is from association of mutual fund india which is an apex body of mutual funds in india but i want to make it very clear jinat ma'am it is not a marketing event or a promotional event of mutual funds it is purely an investor awareness program and and priyanka there are two categories of investors one category belongs to dr najia jinat ma'am who are already earning but other category rather equally important is potential investor like dr like priyanka who have not started earning but they are going to earn very soon maybe down the line 2 3 years so my session will be equally useful for both of uh, both both categories of investors and since this program is for the participants priyanka at least i i can tell you i i, I can't dare to ask dr najia and jeet ma'am but at least priyanka i can tell to at, at least all students kindly have a pen and notebook with them so that if you find anything new idea or a new information in my session you can note it down and you can explore those uh, those uh, new ideas or information through google and website priyanka you know it very well everything is now flooded with on websites and google but th- my session is to sensitize all of you to kindly kindly go deeper into the subject and thirdly and lastly dr naji i will be very happy if more and more questions come from the participants because that will be a reflection that you have taken interest in the subject you have lot of doubts you have lot, lot of queries and we will try to i will try to satisfy most of your uh, queries and answers after my session is over uh, if a participant can wish they can uh, put their questions or queries in the chat box and once my session is over we will make the town hall open anybody can just raise the hand and they can directly ask the question as well and dr, uh, dr. naji i will try to make my session as simple as i can i will not try to make it a technical session or uh, putting lot of data or research oriented things uh, i will try to connect people like priyanka more those who are relatively raw and but very keen to know about the importance of money and one thing uh, i i before i start uh, i was very happy when uh, honorable vice principal mentioned about the uh, developing a, some amount as emergency because i feel that uh, dr najia that money gives us two very important things in our life and priyanka you should also understand and because you might have seen the importance of money in your life. everything people say that money is everything may not be everything but it is everything money may not be god but it is not less than god generally we talk about like this only money gives us two basic things in our life dr najia and these two things are security and prosperity under this umbrella all other things comes we do uh, we do have comfort we do have lot of uh, uh, amenities at our home we do enjoy traveling in a good vehicle or uh, some business class whatever it may be so all things will come through money but broadly speaking money gives just two basic things in our life first is security and second one is prosperity and priyanka every human being first think of security jinat ma'am will agree with me we first think about the security every human being first because we first want to develop security not only for myself but also for our family but unfortunately dr najia you, you might be agree with might be agreeing with me that security will come through money only when we have plenty of money with us one day dr najia will have 100 crore in her bank account then might she might feel no problem now i have got 100 crore in my bank account priyanka is smiling najia ma'am is also smiling because 100 crore is a reasonable good amount and once we have that level of uh, amount of money with us we feel secure but dr najia you are smiling because we know it very well unfortunately most of the middle class salary class person despite our best efforts we wouldn't be having that much of money in our life 
of course we will try definitely priyanka will surely try but we might not have that level of money in our life now the question arises then how we can develop security for us and this is a very prime question for all of us and to answer this question priyanka and even dr najia i i will tell you kindly develop these three things in your life when you start earning and this i am telling to uh, talking to priyanka and those who are already earning like dr priyank uh, dr najia and jinath uh, ma'am if they have not done these three things in your life kindly do this as early as you can and the first and foremost thing which every earning member must have dr najia is adequate life insurance cover and priyanka i am talking about security only prosperity i will not uh, i will cover afterwards only so the first thing every earning member must have is adequate life insurance cover i have used two words uh, priyanka life insurance cover but it should be adequate so first let us understand what is life insurance cover and what is the purpose of having life insurance cover in our life dr jinath you know it very well that life is pretty uncertain we are okay today i am talking to you we are seeing each other we will live next 100 years but even tomorrow things are pretty uncertain what will happen tomorrow am i right priyanka because life is pretty uncertain we don't know what will happen tomorrow life going on very well but if something happens to me tomorrow i am not available to my family because of death or permanent disability i am not, not able to earn the money which i am earning what will happen to my family how my family will survive because because everything is going on very well on the strength of my earning family is enjoying all members are enjoying the education of the children is being taken care of properly every other family obligation is being done and we have planned lot of things in our life every every family plan dr najia but what will happen if i am not available to my family tomorrow that is a very important question we should ask and to overcome that fear because basically a fear and to overcome that fear we should take adequate life insurance cover and priyanka life insurance cover can be taken only those who are earners not you you can't take a life insurance cover but once you start earning definitely the importance of life insurance cover will come in your life so we should take adequate life insurance cover and dr najia we do we you might have taken some life insurance cover most of us do take but unfortunately most of us just take a token life insurance cover 5 lakh 10 lakhs 20 lakhs priyanka it is not going to serve the purpose for which life insurance cover is taken that is why i am sharing with you all a thumb rule for the life insurance cover and that is life insurance cover dr najia should be minimum 10 times of your annual income it should be minimum 10 times suppose dr najia you are earning uh, 12 12 or uh, 20 lakhs a year then ideally speaking you should have a life insurance cover of not less than 2 crore rupees and deepal ma'am just tell me have you taken that level of life insurance cover i don't think you have taken we do have taken life insurance cover but that is just a token so i will urge all of you kindly consider taking adequate life insurance because purpose will be served only deepal ma'am when my family will get a good amount if i am not available to them because that good amount will take care of all their family obligations so we should take life insurance cover and it should be adequate and dr najia at least in my times life insurance cover was linked to investments the only two products were available you might be aware that is were money back and endowment but these were not true insurance products very honestly speaking nowadays very good insurance product is available in the market priyanka you are very lucky that you are you are having that level of product and even dr najia and jinath ma'am can take it that name of that true insurance product is term insurance t e r m term insurance it is a pure insurance product and one thing deepal ma'am you should also understand that life that insurance is not an investment both are separate generally people get confused rather agent will make you confused 
you take this life insurance cover if you survive you will having that that much of money and if you don't survive you your family will get that much of money that is not a true statement because of purpose of insurance is different only providing security to the family and purpose of investment is totally different so kindly keep investment and ins uh, insurance and investment separate dr najia ma'am generally people club it but ideally speaking it should not be club you should have life insurance cover and then you should think of investment in a separate way so life insurance cover has to be educated and nowadays a good product is available in the name of term insurance a person dr najia of the age of 25 to 30 year can take a life, life insurance cover of 1 crore rupees through term insurance priyanka by paying a monthly premium of hardly 500 or 600 rupees which anybody can afford but if you go for the money back and endowment dr najia the premium will run into thousands of rupees which most of us will not be able to take it that is why term insurance is the pure um, pure uh, insurance product and you should consider it and nowadays priyanka top up facility in term insurance is also available top up in the sense that today you might take a life insurance cover of 1 crore rupee down the line after 5 year you see that your income has increased so your will so your liability you want to increase it you can increase it by topping it up and automatic top up facility is also will that every 5 years uh, your insurance cover will get increased from 1 crore to 1.5 crore to 2 crore to 2.5 crore that facility is now also available nowadays so kindly go through the details of term insurance and then take life insurance cover as early you can because priyanka life insurance cover premium is directly related to your age so kindly don't keep it deferring genius ma'am typically what happens are bhai le lenge na abhi to abhi why we should take life insurance cover we are so young today no because if you keep deferring the decision of life insurance cover priyanka annual premium or monthly premium will keep increasing with every year so kindly take adequate life insurance cover that will develop security for your family this is the first request i want to make all of you second request is dr najia every family must have adequate health insurance cover and priyanka people get confused because they say that uh, dr najia will say i have already taken life insurance cover why i should take health insurance cover no both products are different the object and purpose of both the products are totally different priyanka life insurance of cover we take that in case of my death well my family will get a good amount but health insurance cover we take that in case of medical emergency all medical expenses will be met by that health insurance cover that is the purpose of health insurance cover and priyanka again you you will agree with me that any disease may discover in my body tomorrow i am okay today but tomorrow there might uh, some disease might disc or i might met with a serious accident i in those case it what i will do i will be forced to go to the best available hospital in my city and unfortunately jinat ma'am the governmental health system in india is not up to mark very uh, unfortunately so where we will be forced to go we will be forced to go to the private hospitals but there in private hospital the problem is different they charge exorbitantly if a person remain there for 10 15 days dr najia they may raise a bill of not less than 10 lakhs rupees from where that money will come if i don't have health insurance cover but if i have health insurance cover of that amount then all the medical expenses of medical of the bill of the hospital will be directly paid by the insurance company to the hospital you will go to the best hospital get the best treatment come home recovered without paying anything that is the purpose of having adequate health insurance cover and nowadays priyanka very good health insurance uh, product is available in the market and that name of that that health insurance cover dr najia is floater health insurance cover f l o a t e r kindly go into the details i am just indicating the name and uh, basic details but jinat ma'am you have to go into the details through websites and googles don't be in haste 
get all the details only then go for health insurance cover so the floater health insurance cover is a unique health insurance cover dr najia because in this floater health insurance cover is a unique facility is available that if i take health insurance cover i have got the leverage of adding name of my spouse husband or wife i can also add the name of my children i can also name add the name of my parents or in law even so in one singular health insurance cover all members of my family are covered and if anything happens to any member of the family jinnat ma'am then they can go to the best private hospital available nearby take the best treatment come home recovered without paying anything that is the purpose of taking adequate health insurance cover and Uh, what is the definition of adequacy dr najia if you are in hyderabad you are in a big city i am then ideally a family should have a life insurance or health insurance cover of not less than 25 to 30 lakhs because that is that is the ideal health insurance cover we should take and for both the life insurance cover and health insurance cover priyanka whatever you pay as a premium is allowed under income tax as a deduction under different sections but that is jinnat mein me only incidental benefit you should not take life insurance cover or health insurance cover for the purpose of income tax deduction but incidentally if it is applicable you must take it but the but the purpose of life insurance cover and health insurance cover is much much greater than availing income tax deductions so second thing i am requesting to all the participants prenka you should also go to home and uh, tell your parents about health insurance cover if they have not taken they should consider it third and last thing about security dr najia which uh, honorable vice uh, vice principal has also mentioned every family must have an emergency fund of around 5 to 7 lakhs with them ab naturally dr najia you will ask me why we should have a emergency fund and my answer is very simple dr najia you are very lucky your job continued during pandemic you continue to get regular salary from your your employer but prenka you might be aware that lakhs of people had lost their job during pandemic lakhs of people have got substantial reduction in their income and salaries businesses were closed for months together professions were closed and dr najia lakhs of people have passed through a very very tough time financially speaking because it was not expected from uh, from anybody that this time will come in our life so and dr najia this pandemic had not yet gone post that is why i don't use the word post pandemic post covid because it is still there every day newer and newer virus is coming and in future a new disease may come like this only or an emergency may fall on on any member of the family all of a sudden for that purpose uh, jinnat ma'am every family must have a emergency fund of around 5 to 7 lakhs that in case such situation arises in future dr najia that i lose my job temporarily or my salary is decreased uh, reduced or i pass through a very tough time this emergency fund can take care of my monthly expenses priyanka at least for one year that is the purpose of having a emergency developing and having a emergency fund and dr jinnat uh, this uh, this 5 to 7 lakh lakh is not a small amount for all of us it is a reasonable amount but we can develop it over a period of time maybe 3 year or 5 years but once we develop this emergency fund dr najia we have to make a promise with ourselves taking our family into confidence priyanka that we will never 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 use this emergency fund for any other purpose except emergency because temptation will always be there dr najia if you have a 5 lakh rupees in emergency fund your family will keep chasing you go go on vacation have some celebration let uh, go for interior of the house whatever it may be lot of and uh, temptation and pressure will be there on you but you should stick to it jinnat ma'am you must make it a point that never 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 i will use this emergency fund for any other purpose it is meant only for the emergencies in the family in future that discipline and this commitment has to be there dr najia and we can have it 
because the importance of emergency fund is totally different and i am not saying that you keep emergency fund of 5 to 7 lakhs at your home in currency form or in your sb account no you can put the fd you put this amount in some bank fd where you are you may generate some reasonable return but money is handy whenever you want you can withdraw and use it so kindly develop emergency fund of around 5 to 7 lakhs these three things i again repeat dubey sir every earning member and every family must develop and these three things dr najia will provide security only kindly i i, I am again repeating it it might not be connected to your prosperity but it will give you security to you and your family so kindly develop these three things uh, priyanka when you start earning in the first or second year itself this is the first request i want to make all of you now i am coming to the prosperity aspect and dr najia can you tell me what is the main source of income or, or what is the main source of money for all of us middle class salary class person what is the main source of money for all of us our salary is if we are a salaried employee Absolutely. our source of income yeah yeah most of us those who are salary class jinat mein our main source of income is our salary but dr najia there is also other source of income which we normally don't talk much about and that is equally important rather sometime priyanka it is more important of course it will come out of your salary only but that second source of income dr najia is that my money should also earn money for me normally we jinat mein we don't talk about much are baba hamare salary chahiye hamari salary badhti rahe increment milta rahe promotion hota rahe that is sufficient what we look at no no najia mam we should equally be concerned about the second source of money that my money should also earn money for me and i will now today more talk about the second aspect because salary you are earning you have equipped yourself about to earn money to take this position and what we do with the salary dr najia normally when we earn salary what we do with the salary jinat mam a majority for of our salary goes into taking care of our monthly expenses regular expenses am i right majority of our salary goes into taking care of our monthly expenses but vinita we indians have got a very typical habit all we have in our dna we have it what is that priyanka are you aware we all indians sincerely try that some some money should be taken away from our 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 income which we don't want to spend of course it is not easy najia mam but we sincerely try even a person who is earning 10000 rupees a month will sincerely try to take away 500 or 700 rupees out of their income which they will not spend and the money which we don't spend priyanka out of a regular income what we call it dr najia knows it very well we call it savings bachat it is savings so so the money which we don't spend out of our income is our savings and we all do save money you rest we all do save money we it is in our blood rest it is in our blood we sincerely try to save as much money as we can but one thing lacks with most of us dr najia i don't know whether, whether it may be with you only with you also but at least most of people we have that is priyanka we do save the money every month but we are casual about saving casual in the sense that that uh, najia mam this month it might might have saved 10000 next month it might be 12000 third month it might be 8000 fourth month it might be 5000 because we are lo- lot of other things because of lot of other factors but we are casual about saving but priyanka i want to tell you to one thing not to you but all the students even i can request najia mam and jinat mam if they consider it but to you i want to emphatically tell, tell you kindly identify an amount of saving out of your income which you can comfortably save and najia mam i am not prescribing anything that you should save 20 20% you should save 20 30% or 40% but please identify an amount 
which you can comfortably save. Suppose Dr. Najia, you say that your salary is 50,000 a month and your monthly expenses are around 40,000. Then Priyanka, my request is very simple to Dr. Najia. Kindly save this 10,000 upfront. Kindly save this amount religiously every month. Come what may. Genius ma'am, it is not a, a simple task, very tough task, but it is not an impossible task. We can do it. We will have to do it. The only requirement is, Dr. Naja, we have commitment. We have, we have to develop discipline that come what may, I will save this amount every month. Because it is a very small thing. Dr. Naji, you might say, sir, what you are talking about is a damage, damage thing. Yes, Priyanka, it is a damage thing. But most important thing in your life. Because once you identify an amount and religiously save this amount every month, I can tell you with confidence that down the line after 15, 20 years, you will not repent. Rather, you will enjoy that money which you have saved over a period of time. So kindly identify a amount of saving and then religiously save this amount. First request I want to make all of you regarding saving. Second request I want to make all of you is kindly keep increasing your savings every year minimum by 10% Dr. Najia. Priyanka, you should listen it very carefully. First is identify an amount of saving and then religiously save that amount. Second one is Kindly keep increasing your saving minimum by 10% every year. And Dr. Najee, you know, you know it very well. It is possible. How it is possible? Because we get increment. We get increase in our, in our salary. We get some allowances. Down the line in between, we also get promotion. So our income keep increasing every year. So with the increase in income, uh, we must increase our saving minimum by 10% every year. And suppose this year, Dr. Najia, you are saving 10,000 a month. Then next year, ideally speaking, it should be 11,000 a month. And third year, it should be 12,100. Likewise only, every year. Of course, again, not, not easy. Priyanka, you are saying very, yes, sir. We, we, it is not an easy task. I know it very well. But it is not only an impossible task. We can do it. And I can promise to all of you, particularly students, that those who will practice these two small things with regard to their savings, identify amount of saving and increasing uh, uh, saving every year. Prenka, you will have least financial problem in your life. You might still have some problem, but there will be least financial problem in your life because these are the foundation pillars of your prosperity, Dr. Najia. They should understand the importance of two very basic things in your life. These are the financial uh, uh, pillars of uh, foundation uh, uh, pillars of your prosperity. Now, the second step, Priyanka, you may ask me naturally, sir, what, what we do with the savings? We are saving every month now. Dr. Najee had promised me that uh, she will start saving a particular amount every month and she will keep increasing uh, saving every month. But what we do with the savings, which we do every month, Jeanath ma'am, there are two options, Priyanka, available to all of us. First option is, is a foolish one, suicidal one, which a people like me can, will only take. And what is that step, Dr. Najia? I am saving religiously every month. But what nonsensical I am doing is, I am taking away the money off of my bank account where I get salary, keeping cash at home every month. Or leaving that uh, saving account in my bank account. Vinita, never, never, never do this practice in your life, kindly minded. Never, never, never do this practice because the purpose of saving will be defeated if you do this practice. We should never keep our savings at home in, uh, in currency form in a box keep in a day, uh, with a lock and key or not leave that amount in our bank account, SV account. Then naturally, Priyanka, you will ask me, sir, then what to do? Yes. There is also other option, Dr. Najia, with all of us. And that option is, Priyanka, if you wish, you can note it down. Putting our savings, number one, 
into acquisition of some assets value of which will increase in future putting our savings into some assets value of which will increase in future and or or putting our savings into some financial instrument jinas ma'am which will give us regular and periodical return in future and the process of putting our savings into acquisition some assets or financial instrument najia ma'am what we call it you know it very well priyanka it is called investment it is called investment so saving is the first step investment is the second step we have to be saver but necessarily we have to be investor as well because my dear participants prosperity and wealth creation will happen only and only through investment priyanka mind it very well if you save and don't invest then better not to save enjoy your money but if you are saving then jinath ma'am you must put your money, uh, savings into investment and we all do i am not saying in new we all priyanka will also start doing the same thing when she start earning we, we will all we, we all do it but unfortunately and here i don't i, I don't know whether dr najia will agree with me or not unfortunately dr najia most of the middle class salary class person despite their sincere efforts in savings and investment unfortunately vinita they just remain money accumulators they don't become wealth creators and dr najia there are two distinct terms i am using here money accumulation and wealth creation and unfortunately most of us are we just remain money accumulator throughout our life despite our sincere efforts in saving and investment but before going ahead uh, priyanka you must understand what is money accumulation and wealth creation then we will take it forward and for making you understand the difference between money accumulation and wealth creation genius ma'am kindly take your allow me to take your name for this example i am just giving an example to all the participants would you permit me to take your name genius ma'am thank you very much thank you genius ma'am has given her permission to take her name a very simple example i am sharing with all of you why i am taking this example priyanka because even you are aware that example is of bank fixed deposit fd you might have not gone for fd but at least priyanka knows it what bank fd is and all the students even know najia ma'am what bank fd is suppose jinat ma'am has got 1 lakh rupees with her of course she has more much more than 1 lakh rupees but just just for the sake of example i am saying here that jinat ma'am has got 1 lakh rupees with her and she goes for a one one year bank fd with a good bank bank fixed deposit for a one year and uh, priyanka you might be aware that present rate of interest on fd is around 6% am i right dr najia 5 5.5% ah it, it is around take it 6% to be your be a little bit more liberal so what we take it it is 6% so dr naji uh, dr jinat goes for a bank fd for one year with a good bank after one year myself and dr najia meet her and just ask her jinat ma'am what happened to your fd she is very happy and she is smiling but she says that she has earned 6000 rupees as bank interest income and my money has been given back by the bank very simple and she is happy when i just asked dr najia are you right janat jinat ma'am she might get annoyed she said yes i am absolutely right why you are asking this question to me because you can see my passbook 6000 bank interest in credit has been given by the bank and my money has been given back to bank dr jinat you are right but you are not right you are right because you got 6000 rupees as bank interest income but not you most of us normally ignore two very important factors dr J, dr najia while analyzing return on our in and fd is also an investment priyanka so we normally 
ignored two very important factors while analyzing return on our investment. What these factors are, Priyanka, the most important factor is inflation, mahangai. We talk about inflation every day, day out. Even uh, in the staff room, Dr. Najia, the hot topic is inflation only. Are Baba, mehengai is very bad. Uh, petrol ka dam kitna ja raha hai. Iska khar itna dam bahut bad raha hai. We talk about, even at home, uh, today morning, uh, uh, Jinath may might have scolded with his children if they are. Are Baba, kharche kam karo jara, mehengai is very bad raha hai. We, we talk about inflation every day in day out. But we don't factor in inflation while analyzing return on investment. So first, Priyanka, we should understand what is inflation. What is inflation? Simply speaking, Dr. Najia, increase in the price age of the goods, item, or services over a period of time is inflation. Am I right? Simply speaking. Simply speaking. So suppose last year when Dr. Jinath was going for bank FD, Instead of going for bank FD, had he gone for purchase of or acquisition of some, some item or might have availed some services of 1 lakh rupees, Priyanka, would she be able to avail, to get same item, same goods or avail same services after one year at 1 lakh rupees? Would it be possible for her, Dr. Najia? It will not be possible. Because of inflation, price, price age of those items or services have increased. Am I right, Priyanka? Is it natural? So suppose the inflation rate has been 5%. What does it mean? It simply means, Priyanka, that the Dr. Gina, if we had not gone for FD, could have purchased some items at 1 lakh rupees. After one year, she will need to pay say, for same item, same goods, some same services, not one lakh, not one lakh rupees, but one lakh five thousand rupees because the inflation had been five percent. So now, Dr. Jinath Ma'am, you see, out of six thousand you earn, in reality five thousand has been eaten by the inflation. Am I right, Priyanka? Five thousand has been eaten by the inflation, but still, Dr. Jinath is happy. She says, okay, let the 5,000 go. I still have got 1,000 rupees as, as interest income. Yes, Dr. Dinat. But there is again another factor, Rahu, which you must understand while analyzing return. What is that factor? Priyanka, Dr. Najia knows it very well. Most of the income and return are taxable under Income Tax Act. Maybe income tax, maybe capital gain, whatever it may be. But most of the income tax, uh, most of the income are taxable. And in the case of bank FD, Dr. Jinas, you might not be aware. Whatever you earn as interest on bank FD, you will have to pay income tax as per your slab. There is no concession. 10,000 rupees are allowed to you and uh, for bank interest, Dr. Najia. Is only for the SB account, saving bank account. On FD, there is no concession. Whatever you earn, you will have to pay income tax as per your slab. And Priyanka, support Dr. Gina is in 20% bracket. What does it mean? That she will need to pay 20% on 6,000 as income tax as well. And now she can't avoid because of technology, Dr. Najia. Every such information is available with the income tax department. So you will have to pay income tax of 20%, that is 1,200. Now you see the proposition, Dr. Jinath. You are very happy when you earn 6,000 as bank interest income. But in reality, out of 6,000, 5,000 Rahu has been, has been eaten by the inflation and, and 1,200 she had to pay as income tax. Did she get anything in reality, Priyanka? No. Rather, 200 rupees has gone out of her pocket. And unfortunately, most of the people like, like us only, most of the middle class, salary class person don't earn any real return on their investment. And kindly mind Priyanka, 6,000 was your notional return. It was not your real return. And the formula of real return, Priyanka, if you note it down, real return equal to notional return minus inflation, minus tax liability. 
एंड सपोज प्रियंका आई टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल फॉरवर्ड सपोज द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज एट परसेंट डॉक्टर नाजिया इन दैट सिनेरियो डॉक्टर जीनथ विल गेट एट थाउजेंड एज बैंक इंटरेस्ट इनकम एंड अगेन कीपिंग इन्फ्लेशन फाइव परसेंट फाइव आउट ऑफ एट थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी इटन बाई द इन्फ्लेशन अगेन डॉक्टर जीनथ विल नीड टू पे ट्वेंटी परसेंट इनकम टैक्स ऑन एट थाउजेंड दैट इज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड सी विल नीड टू पे एज इनकम टैक्स बट इवन आफ्टर दैट प्रियंका there remain 1400 that 1400 is your real income kindly mind it very important thing i am sharing with all of you unless and until we earn real return on our investment we cannot be wealth creator we cannot be prosper we will simply be money accumulators and unfortunately dr najia most of us just remain money accumulators so we have to work very hard that my investment must earn some real return for me no i i i i must not be satisfied with the notional return priyanka at least you should not never never in your life you should see that you earn some real return on your investment and again i repeat formula is very simple real return equal to notional return minus inflation minus tax liability now Uh, dr najia can you tell me what is the reason that most of us just remain money accumulators what is the reason we are all educated we all know everything about the investment all these things but why is still most of us remain money accumulators there must be some reason yes, yes. we actually yes. are not sure about where to invest yeah, yeah. Now, okay we will come on that we will come on that as well ma'am so, yes most of us remain money accumulators najia ma'am because of our mindset we middle class salary class people have a typical mindset and what is that priyanka are baba don't talk about the risk we don't want to take any risk investment we want to go for the safe investment this is a normal thinking for all of us am i right priyanka most of us think that we should we should not take risk or rather we don't take risk we want to go for the safe investment but priyanka i want to tell one thing to you and you have to accept it whether you accept it or today or tomorrow that is your wisdom but you have to accept it in investment risk is there whether you accept it or not dr najia accept governmental small saving scheme which we will discuss separately afterwards all other investments risk is there kindly accept it very honestly so we have we have to accept that risk is there in most of the investments but since once we accept priyanka that there is a possibility then we can think think that how i can manage my risk how can i can minimize my risk because that is a second step so first step dr najia i want to tell all your students and your, your young faculty members like you and jinath ma'am kindly honestly accept that in most of the investment risk is there and then we should go for managing our risk and minimize our risk we should definitely we will go for it and we can go but one thing priyanka you must understand we can manage our risk we can minimize your risk dr najia but risk can never be zero some degree of risk will always be there maybe some products high risk maybe in some product mid moderate risk in some product low risk but risk will be there except some government very few governmental schemes are there i will not repeat it again and again i will tap the scheme as well so kindly accept risk is there but my dear friends risk can be managed risk can be minimized yes i am giving you this confidence to you priyanka you can manage your risk you can minimize your risk how very simple two word formula i am sharing with all of you kindly note it down priyanka very simple formula dr najia will laugh at me sir but nonsense very simple thing you are talking on to our students you are taking too much time on these very simple things but i feel priyanka these are very important thing of course basic but very important the formula is very simple dr jina through which we can manage your risk and the two word only two word formula priyanka note it down but simply noting down on paper will not serve the purpose priyanka 
you have look you have to put this formula in your mind you have to put this formula while taking your investment decisions and the formula is can i first uh, share in hindi and then in english soch kar samajh kar nivesh kar think understand and invest naja ma'am i have used very two simple words think understand and invest the first word priyanka i have used is what what word i will use priyanka think so exactly what we have to think we have to think two things about ourselves do baatein hame apne bare mein sochni hai jinat mein pehli baat jo hame sochni hai that is what is my risk appetite what how much risk i can take what is my risk tolerance it is one and same thing main kitna risk le sakti hu le sakta hu ye aapko sabse pehle sochna hai investment karte samay and priyanka one thing you must understand is every individual has got different risk appetite every individual because najia mam has got different one jinat mam has got different one dube saab has got different one vinita when we she start earning will have different one why how how because because very honestly speaking you will have because jinat mam income is different najia mam income income is different jinat mam family obligation is different najia mam family obligation are different their lifestyle is different their social status everything is different so every individual has got different risk appetite kindly understand it very carefully priyanka you you have different risk appetite so we should take our investment decision najia ma'am strictly as per my risk appetite but typically what happens a mistake we all do i don't know whether najia ma'am will agree with me or not lekin hum sab wo galti karte hain हम जब इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं भेड़ चाल में करते हैं अगर कोई वाइस प्रिंसिपल कहीं इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रही है नाजा मैम जानती है वाइस प्रिंसिपल इज वेरी स्मार्ट इन इन्वेस्टिंग एंड देन शी विल फॉलो हर एंड मेक हर इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज ए ब्लेंडर वी ऑल डू नेवर 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 फॉलो अदर्स वाइल टेकिंग यूर इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन बिकॉज ऑफ द सिंपल रीजन बिकॉज यूर रिस्क कैपिटाइट नाजिया मैम इज डिफरेंट देन डेट ऑफ यूर वाइस प्रिंसिपल और फॉर दैट मैटर प्रिंसिपल एनीबडी एल्स we should take all our investment decision strictly as per our risk appetite and for that i also give a new idea priyanka now i am giving a new concept of active life and what is active life priyanka typically speaking najia ma'am active life is between 25 years to 60 years normally when we start earning around 25 years priyanka and we get retired around you know, normally people might started early or uh, even uh, get retired even after 60 but normally speaking our active life is between 25 to 60 and i am dividing priyanka this active life in three phases najia ma'am first phase is between 25 to 40 and second phase is 40 to 55 and priyanka third phase is beyond 55 of course you are in not even in the first phase priyanka but i can make out from the phase of dr najia and and jinat ma'am they might be in the first phase am i right ma'am you are in the first phase so first phase i want to tell all the all the participants who are in the first phase like dr najia and dr jinat and even to priyanka who are going to enter in the first phase very soon this is the golden period of your life dr najia this is the golden period of your life kindly make best use of it ye 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 phase najia ma'am dwara kabhi nahi aayega zindagi mein this is the golden period of your life why i am saying this because dr najia you have started earning but relatively your liabilities are limited relatively speaking there is no child in child are very smart all these things so relatively you are uh, you are uh, liability are relatively small so you can save more 
सो यू शुड ट्राई सिंसियरली जीनत मेम टू सेव एज मच एज यू कैन दिस इज द फर्स्ट रिक्वेस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक यू एंड सेकेंडली काइंडली सेव यूर इन्वेस्टमेंट सेविंग यूर इन्वेस्टमेंट डॉक्टर नाजिया इन द बेस्ट अवेलेबल प्रोडक्ट विच विल गिव यू मैग्जिम रियल रिटर्न मैग्जिमम रियल रिटर्न अंडरलाइन द वर्ड रियल रिटर्न even by taking some risk i am encouraging uh, people like najia mam and jinath mam those who are in the first phase kindly do consider taking some risk but that has to be calculated it should not be a blind one kindly minded risk should always be you can take calculated risk definitely you can because dr najia why i am encouraging you because you have got age on your plus spine plus side because you have got still 25 30 35 years to go if something goes wrong with your investment let it be we can rectify our mistake because you have got time but i don't have that luxury i don't have the time so i can rectify my mistake so for the first phase of people like dr najia and jinath i will tell this is the golden period of your life kindly save as much as you can kindly invest your savings into the best available product where your focus should be solely on earning maximum real return on your investment maximum even by taking calculated risk not blind risk i am not encouraging you to take blind risk but calculated risk this is the first phase then comes second phase and dr rakesh dubey i can make out might be in the second phase yes sir so i can make out from your phase that you are in the second phase in the second phase there are some changes happen automatically dr najia your children are grown up lot of things are happening in your life so in that phase of life you should continue to focus on real return dr najia but you should also keep an eye on liquidity aspect of the money because in that phase of life dubey sahab you will need money for different uh, milestone in your life rather at many times you will need money that is why in the second phase of life priyanka you should continue to focus on real return but you should also keep an eye dr najia on the liquidity aspect of the money then come the third phase i can't make out any participant who is beyond 55 uh, i i can i am not in position to see honorable vice principal or principal is there or uh, hod is there if who when you enter in the third phase dr najia you are thinking will automatically change automatically change then what will be your thinking are baba forget about the real return what my thinking will be priyanka in that phase of life i i will try to save my money which i have accumulated from 25 years to 55 years dr najia return become secondary i can sacrifice on the return aspect but i can't sacrifice on the safety aspect of the money which i have accumulated from uh, 25 to 55 years for that phase of life your risk will be totally different so in different phases of your life your risk appetite at naya will be different and you should take your investment decision strictly at per your risk appetite this is the first request i want to make second request i want to make with regard to thinking is time horizon of investment dr najia we normally don't give any credence to the time horizon of investment but that is equally important my dear participants you must understand do we sab time horizon of investment is equally important in the sense that the dr najia we will need money not in one go in our life we will need money in may, at many many times huge money rather in different intervals of life and for that dr najia i want to make a request personal request not to you but jinath uh, ma'am and all participants who are in the first phase of your care, uh, of your uh, uh, active life kindly give me one hour to me next sunday dr najia would you be would you be kind enough to give me one hour dr najia next sunday one hour i want next sunday from all participants who are in the active on uh, the first phase of their active life and my request to all of them don't don't worry dr naji i will not coming to your home but i want one over by i you are welcome sir 
even priyanka should understand what i am saying to to them next sunday dr najia request your all family members to come together sit with them have a paper and one notebook or paper or and one pen make three column on the on the paper first column second column and the very important thing i am telling to all of you in on the paper dr najia make three three column first column second column and third column in the first column after discussing with your family dr najia jot down the milestones which are likely to happen in your life and what are the common milestone priyanka in your life in middle class salary class life of course you have not started even in the uh, uh, that phase of life but what is the first milestone in your life marriage marriage is the first milestone in your life dr najia and after that birth of the children celebration second milestone birth of the children then third one is admission of the children in a good public school that is again a, a, a important milestone dr najia after that purchase or acquisition of a house for the family that is also very important thing in a, most of the middle class families we definitely will have our own house then after that if you don't have four wheeler by that time naturally family will force you to go for the four wheeler that is very natural then after that dr najia one more milestone has become common in you know in your life that was not common at least in my time dubey sahab will agree with me but now it is very common with all the middle class elderly class person and that is dr najia going on vacation your family feels will force you to go on vacation are baba wo padosi pata nahi kahan kahan ghum ke aa gaya hamare aapke colleague switzerland ja ke aa gaya aap yahan abhi hyderabad mein hi baithe hain every family will force you to go out of the vacation has also become very important thing in our life and after that after some years priyanka what will be the next milestone dr najia higher education and professional education of children very important milestone in our life every parent will like to that their kids get best higher education or professional education and after that najia dr najia naturally uh, uh, once education is over marriage of the children is the second priority which we always get after uh, education is over and last milestone dr najia in our life will be re- living retirement life that is very very important dr najia you will appre- agree with me because nowadays dr najia pension is not there most of us the, you will not be having pension we were very l- lucky to have pension in our times we will be getting a fixed amount throughout our life but now pension priyanka pension is no more available to any of you how you will live your life if normally what happened dr najia you collect huge amount for your pen, for your retirement period life including your super invention benefits club those all these things put your money into some investment mode get some regular income and you enjoy your retirement life that is normal thing we all do jinath ma'am you will agree with me so pension is also very important so pension is the last milestone and dr najia i am i am giving you liberty or leverage if you want to add any milestone you can add on in the second column against each milestone now priyanka put the period when this each milestone is likely to happen in your life suppose priyanka say that i am not yet married of course she is not but and she likely to be married after 2 years put it 2 years again just an i wild idea put it 2 years against the marriage likewise for all milestone start putting the pe- uh, period when it is likely to happen 2 year 3 year 5 year 10 year 15 year 20 year 30 year 35 year put the period in the second column against each milestone and the third column dr najia very important now kindly put the money against each milestone which you will need suppose uh, against marriage priyanka says that uh, uh, i will need minimum 5 lakhs because other expenses will be taken care of my parent but at this honeymoon package i will have to share with my husband now is it norm now nowadays so put it 5 lakhs for your against marriage again idea only i am not saying that you put 5 lakhs against marriage likewise start putting the money which you will need for each milestone two very important things i want to tell dr najia to all the participants the first the one important thing is dr najia is 
professional education and higher education of children very important milestone in our life dr najia can you tell me what is the normal cost of a good mba degree nowadays from a good public institution good M M management institution it is around 20 lakhs for two year degree it is around 20 lakhs dr najia can you imagine after 25 years when your children will go for higher education how much you will need can you imagine priyanka it will be not less than 2 crore rupees per child mba degree today costs around 20 lakhs will cost not less than 2 crore rupees per child after 25 years because of inflation because of inflation and per, per chance dr najia had to got two, two kids then how much she will need for the higher education only not less than 4 crore rupees only for the higher education now the last milestone is retirement life and support dr najia your age is 30 of course i can't dare to mention the name of any esteemed lady but i am uh, um, but suppose your age is 30 and you say that your monthly expenses are around 30000 you are managing your affair 30000 dr najia can you imagine how much you will need when you retired after 30 years at 60 per month priyanka today dr najia is managing her monthly expenses with 30000 but after 30 years when she become 30 she will need not less than 2 lakh rupees per month for the same standard of living because of inflation not less than 2 lakh rupees so how much annually around 25 lakhs annually she will need only for the retirement life when she is at 60 so how much retirement corpus you should develop dr najia a thumb rule is there kindly you note it down very important thumb rule priyanka you should have minimum 20 times of your annual expenses at retirement corpus dubey sahab minimum 20 times of your annual expenses when you get retired jinath ma'am dr najia you will need around 25 lakhs uh, per year multiply it by 20 what it becomes 5 crore rupees you will need not less than 5 crore rupees for your retirement corpus and dr najia it is minimum i am telling you ideally it should be 30 times that is around 8 crore rupees put it 5 crore rupees now the where i i want to make you scary dr najia not to you all participants kindly make the total of the loss column third column and you get a scary priyanka a person who is age is around 30 today dr jinath you will need not less than 10 to 12 crore rupees for your milestones only only for your milestone i am excluding your monthly expense dr najia from 30 year to 60 years that i am excluding only for the milestone you will need 10 to 12 crore rupees from where that will come yes. dr najia might be very lucky going to kbc show babita bachan winning 10 10 crore rupees but then how many of us will win maybe one out of 20 lakh 30 lakh 50 lakh what about all, all of us yes priyanka now i can give you confidence to all of you we all can have you all at least not me you all can have 10 to 12 crore rupees in your life provided Jinath ma'am, you start sincerely working from the day you start earning on your savings and investments. That is the crux of the story. That is the crux of your success. That you should be very sincere right from the first month when you start earning. And Dr. Najia, whatever months you have lost, forget about that. Whatever remains, think about those. but at least priyanka i can say you should be very particular not you all young participants like you you should be particular right from the day you start earning and the chart which we have just pre prepared first column second column and third column priyanka are you aware what this chart the chart is called it is called financial plan it is called financial plan and i will urge dr najia to all of you particularly young people like dr najia and jina to all of you you must have a financial plan of your family and that is damn easy the, the way we have just discussed dr najia did damn easy every family must have financial plan why 
because financial plan will give you a clear picture priyanka how much money you will need at what time and once the targets are clear dr najia psychologists say that you work sincerely hard for achieving those targets and and, and and objects so kindly develop a financial plan for your family dr najia and try to work towards achieving those targets as per your financing plan and that is absolutely possible and one thing more i want to tell about the investment priyanka that is called eighth wonder of the world dr najia ma'am it is called rule of compounding it is eighth wonder of the world priyanka and if you follow this eighth wonder of the world priyanka you will be hap happily surprised that you have done right thing as far as investment is concerned as far as investment success is concerned and what is rule of compounding simply speaking priyanka in investment simply very simple thing but very tough thing you have to make a promise with yourself priyanka and dr naji also i can request and jinas ma'am can i can also request you have to make a promise sabina ma'am that whenever and whatever return or income i will get on my investment in future i will never 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 use that income or return for my family affairs for my vacation for my celebration no what i will do i will simply club those return or income with my regular investment and reinvest it this is rule of compounding i will never never use my return or income on my investment for my family affairs for my or, or for my vacation or for sell anything what i will simply do dr najia i will club those return with my uh, regular investment and reinvest it and return might be 5000 return might be 5 lakhs whatever it may be you have not to use that return or income for your effort, that mm -hmm. you have to manage separately if you do it down the line after 15 20 years dr najia you will be happily surprised that your return portion has become much much greater than your original investment but dr najia it will not happen today it will not happen tomorrow it will happen after 15 20 years so kindly have patience in your investment to grow this is the golden rule of investment kindly have patience so we have discussed lot of things so far but again recapitulate in two minutes priyanka first we started with the security three aspects we discussed adequate life insurance cover adequate health insurance cover and an emergency fund or around 5 to 7 lakhs then we discuss about the identify of save, uh, saving amount and then religiously save that amount every month then increasing or saving every month minimum by 10, every year minimum by 10% then putting or saving into investment mode then earning real return on our investment not not to be satisfied with the notional return then we discuss rajya ma'am about the risk in investment and then we discuss how we can manage our risk soch kar samajh kar nivesh kar then we discuss about the financial plan and lastly we discuss about the rule of compounding uh, i don't know whether the, dr najia is happy with me or not because i have taken a lot of your time in such basic things but i feel priyanka these are very very important things for your investment success in your life now in next 10 15 minutes we will discuss what are the options available for the middle class salary class person to invest that is equally important what are the option available for us and the first option available dr najia for all of us is governmental kindly note it down very important things now i am sharing with all of you governmental small saving schemes where we can invest and the first and foremost governmental is uh, 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 small saving scheme jinath ma'am if you have not opened that account in that scheme you have missed something dr najia if you have not done thing kindly do it at once and priyanka you should also understand what it is the name of that scheme is public provident fund account ppf very good scheme of the government of india priyanka where the scheme is for 15 years 
and you can open dr najia account or ppf account in any of the bank or post office it should preferably be in the bank where you have your sbi account it is for 15 year scheme priyanka but it can be extended beyond 15 year dr najia for another 5 year another 5 year another 5 year and you should continue extending that scheme minimum amount you can in, uh, deposit in, in this scheme priyanka envelope is 500 rupees and maximum amount you can invest dr najia is 1.50 lakhs two very small things i want to request dr najia regarding this scheme kindly try to deposit 1.50 lakhs in this scheme if possible before 5th of the start of the financial year 5th april every financial year it so try to deposit 1.50 lakhs if you can at the start of the financial year and, and that too before 5th of april why dr najia because in that case you will earn the interest for the whole year but if you if you are not a position to deposit 1.50 lakhs in a one go priyanka then whenever you deposit the amount in the ppf account try to deposit it before 5th of every month before 5th of because if you deposit dr najia after 5th of, uh, of that month you will not be getting interest for that month these are very small things but makes big difference in the uh, after 10 15 years ppf account is a very good scheme government of india and i feel dr najia every family must have rather husband and wife both must have ppf account second second scheme is government scheme is national saving certificate repeat the link it is not opening second scheme is national saving certificate i just mentioning the name priyanka you can go deeper into the thing through websites and google third number is kisan vikas patra kisan vikas patra very good scheme of the government of india then one more very unique scheme is there dr najia but that is only for the girl child only for the girl that is scheme name is sukanya samriddhi yojana ssy sukanya samriddhi yojana jinat ma'am it is a very good scheme for the girl child basically it has been devised for the education and marriage of the girl child and if you have a girl child in your family whose age is below 10 years mind it it account can be opened after 10 years if whose age is below 10 years kindly open a sb uh, ssy account of their girl under your guardianship in this scheme priyanka government of india has promised that you, they will always give maximum interest in this scheme even today dr najia rate of interest is 7.60% interest which nowhere is available so uh, SSY is a very good scheme for the girl child, and those who have girl child in their family, maximum two account can two girl child account can be opened in a family. You should have a SSY account. Then, uh, Dr. Najia, we can invest in governmental securities also. Government also keep taking loan from the public regularly, and for that, Priyanka, RBI has recently issued a new web website. Can you note it down? Name of that website, RBI Retail Direct. RBI Retail Direct, very good scheme of the government of India. You go to the visit the website, get yourself registered, and then start investing a very small amount regularly. Then RBI also keep issuing Dr. Najia bonds, tax free bonds and taxable bonds where you can invest. And lastly, government of India has divided a new scheme for the government of India undertaking taking loans. That is scheme name is Bharat Bond One and Bharat Bond Two. these are all government uh, of india schemes dr najia and the uniqueness of these scheme is jinat ma'am there is no risk at all no risk at all whatever government promises you priyanka government will give you when scheme matures government will give you uh, your money back so and i personally feel najia ma'am i don't know whether you will agree with me or me not a normal middle class salary class person should invest 
15 to 20 percent of their total investment in governmental saving scheme because that are the reasonable return you will get not extraordinary return but safety aspect will automatically be will be taken care of so we should have 15 to 20 percent then now matter ends with, the, with regard to risk-free investment is concerned dr najia all other options you have got some risk second option available is property or real estate Priyanka, where we can invest. I am not an expert in that, that, that field, uh, ma'am. but I can tell you that in real estate, Dr. Najia, we will need huge money to invest. We can't make investment in 5 lakh or 10 lakh. You will need 50 lakhs, 60 lakhs or 1 crore or, or more for investment. And risk is there in real estate. How much price appreciation will be there? Nobody knows. Whether you will be sell the property when you need it, not sure. And property is normally term as an equal illiquid assets, Dr. Najia. Illiquid in the sense that we, we, are, we can't sell the property at once. It will take time to sell the property and get the return. So real estate you can invest. Third inve uh, option where you can invest, Dr. Najia, and I, I, I know Dr. Najia will definitely smile now. And not only Dr. Najia, all female participants. And the third investment option where available is gold. Yes, Priyanka got it right. Priyanka got it right, gold. Dr. Najia Mem is smiling. Everybody, every female participant is smiling. Are gold, sir, what to discuss about gold? As much as gold, we have no problem at all. And Dr. Najia, gold has historically been an, a safety valve for the middle class, salary class person. Historically, for centuries together. And Dr. Dr. Najia, you might be aware, well aware, that during marriage, we give some jewelry or gold to the daughter. Why we give it? It has got a very deep-rooted thinking, Priyanka, because we give jewelry to the daughter that in case of any financial problem in their family in future, at least they can mortgage that the gold or sell that gold and come out of that financial distress or problem. That is why gold has historically been a safety valve for the middle class, healthy class person. But hitherto, Dr. Najia, we were purchasing only through jewelry or some biscuit, physical form only. But now time has changed, Priyanka. You can invest in gold in digital form as well. No need to uh, 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 keep gold in physical form. And for that, Dr. Najia, and to all the participants, I am sharing a government of India scheme, very good government of India scheme, no private Priyanka. That name is Sovereign Gold Bond Scheme. Priyanka, tell your mother when you reach your home today and tell, give the details. First, read the details of Sovereign Gold Bond Scheme and tell her. Sovereign Gold Bond is a very good scheme of the government of India where Dr. Najia, you can invest one gram gold price and maximum you can invest it four kg gold. Government of India is giving you two promises. One is they will give you 2.5% interest annually on your investment in, in, in this scheme. Guaranteed, 2.5% guaranteed return. Plus second benefit, Dr. Najia, is the scheme has got eight years tenure. And Whatever the appreciation in the price of the gold during this eight year will also be shared with you, Dr. Najia. Support Priyanka, today gold price is 50,000, 10 gram. After eight years, gold price become 80,000 for 10 years, for 10 gram. Then the difference between 80 to 50, that is 30,000 will also be given to you. So two benefits are there. One is 2.5% guaranteed return and additionally, yeah, uh, uh, appreciation or uh, uh, um, uh, prevailing price of the gold uh, uh, at that time when you redeem that uh, you, you are under the scheme. Go sovereign gold bond scheme is a digital form. No gold will be given to you, Dr. Najia. You will given a certificate by the government of India that this much of gold they, they are keeping uh, with them for you. So rest assured, whenever you want, you can sell that uh, certificate and get the money and you can purchase the gold from the market at the prevailing price. So it is a digital in, and, and uh, Dr. Najia, if you go on online investment in this scheme, Priyanka, 
you will also get 50 rupees discount, additional 50% discount if you go on the online. So it is a very good scheme of the government of India. And I feel uh, uh, at least the, uh, the female, uh, the young uh, female participant like Priyanka will now not like to go for the physical jewelry. Rather, they should invest in digital form. And I personally feel, Dr. Najia, that a normal middle class family should have 5 to 7% of their investment in gold. Around 5 to 7% of their investment in gold. One more thing I want to tell Priyanka here. Priyanka, Priyanka, have you ever seen the horses race, race game on the TV? Or have you gone even the, Have you seen, uh, Dr. Najia? Horses race. We all have yes, seen sir. that. One golden rule is there of that game. Never, never put all your money on the one, one horse. Try to spread your bet on the different horses. Because if horse one horse doesn't win, other may win. At least you will get something. The same rule applies in investment, Priyanka. Never put your all investment in one product. Try to spread your investment in different uh, products. Try to develop a basket of investments. That is for you are managing your risk and uh, earning reasonable return. And last option available for all of us is security market share bazaar. And Dr. Najia, ma'am, next time, if you are interested, we can have a technical session on security market for your students. That will be purely technical. We will discuss in detail about the primary market, secondary market, SEBI, trading, uh, future and options, all things we, we will discuss when uh, next time we, we will uh, you give me time. Here, one thing I want to tell you about the security market. Priyanka, you should be very careful. And not you, all young participants. Share market is purely knowledge-based market. So kindly don't invest into share market unless and until you have knowledge of the market. This is my personal request to all of you. Be because um, I don't know whether uh, Najia may might have invested some money on, on the advice of some others and she might have lost. So now she has got a clear, firm opinion. Are Baba, no, I will not never invest in security market. I don't know how market, um, how the price of the share goes up, goes down. So I will. It, she is very right. Share market is a purely knowledge based market. So my dear participant, don't invest in share market unless and until you have detailed knowledge of the market. But one thing I want to tell you, Priyanka. Share market has given maximum return as compared to other products. Najia ma'am, share market has given 15% average return during last 35 years, which no other product has given. Governmental scheme Priyanka has given around 7.5 to 8.5. Real estate has given 8 to 9% return. Gold has given 6 to 7% return. But share market has given 15% return, annualized, not average, average, not regular. But I am not encouraging anybody. I will not get any commission out of it if you invest in share market. What my request is, first get the knowledge of the market, only then invest, at least directly. But indirectly, there is a product in share market where you can invest, that is called mutual fund. And nowadays, Najia Mem, everybody wants to know about the mutual fund, particularly young participants like Priyanka, Sabina, Vidyashri, Vinita and all your students must be keen or rather they should be keen. And what is mutual fund Priyanka? Just next five minutes then I will finish it. Mutual fund is nothing, Dr. Najia. It is a proposition through which we are, in, we are giving our money to the experts. We are not directly investing. We are giving our savings to the experts to invest into the security market and beyond. And the purpose is very simple. It is not a social service, Dr. Najia. We are giving our money with the sole purpose of earning maximum return for me and giving back to me. So mutual fund is a proposition where we give our money to the experts. Why we give, Priyanka? Because we don't have knowledge. Because we don't have time. Because we don't have experience in the market. And those experts have got knowledge, experience in the market. So there is a brighter possibility that their decision will be relatively better than as compared to our decision. That is why we are giving our money to them. And in mutual fund, the uniqueness of mutual fund, uh, Priyanka, is that 
म्यूचुअल फंड इज सुटेबल फॉर एवरी कैटेगरी ऑफ इन्वेस्टर दोज हु कैन टेक हाई रिस्क लाइक डॉक्टर नाजिया म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम्स आर अवेलेबल दोज हु कैन टेक मोडरेट रिस्क अदर स्कीम्स आर अवेलेबल इन म्यूचुअल फंड एंड दोज हु डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेक हाई रिस्क और मोडरेट इवन दे वॉन्ट टू टेक वेरी नोमिनल रिस्क म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर 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 ऑल रिस्क टेकिंग कैटेगरी ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स म्यूचुअल फंड इज अवेलेबल लाइक वाइज प्रियंका इन म्यूचुअल फंड देर आर स्कीम्स विच विल गिव यू रिटर्न ऑन डेली बेसिस लाइक लिक्विड फंड and index fund and najya ma'am there are schemes in the mutual fund which will give you return in one month or two month ultra short term debt fund in mutual fund schemes are available which you give a return in six months one year three year five year 10 year 15 years 20 years so for all time horizon of investment mutual fund schemes are available for all risk taking uh, uh, appetite of every individual mutual fund schemes are available there are two three categories of broadly mutual fund scheme priyanka one is equity fund in equity fund your savings will be invested into the equity shares of the market dr ajay it is you should understand very carefully and when your money is invested into equity fund priyanka risk is greater the possibility of getting higher return is also there but risk is there so those who can take high risk like dr najia and young participants they can consider of investing into into equity fund but their horizon dr najia should not be less than 5 year minimum horizon should be 5 years other category second category in mutual fund is debt fund priyanka in in debt fund your money will not be invested into the equity share dr najia it will be given as a loan to the corporates can you understand the difference priyanka in equity fund your money will be given invested into the equity shares in debt fund your money will be given as a loan to the corporates and when loan is given risk is lesser but return is also reasonable and third category priyanka is hybrid fund in hybrid fund some of your money will be invested into equity fund and other portion of the of your saving will be invested into the debt fund so you are balancing you are aspiring for the higher return by investing some money but at the same time you are managing or balancing your risk by investing into debt so these are broad three categories there are two plans in the mutual fund priyanka one is direct plan other one is regular plan in direct plan dr najia you will be investing your saving online by visiting the website of the amc no third person is there visit the website select the scheme give the information online you are select, you are invested but in regular plan priyanka you will need to take help of the mutual fund distributor they will come to you they will bring the form as per your direction they will help you in filling the form and all these things and then you are invested but in regular plan priyanka return will always be lesser because some commission will go to the agent in direct plan return will always be higher so kindly try to go through direct plan now dr najia just next 5 minutes i want to tell one thing very important to all of you the beauty and magic of the mutual fund is sip systematic investment plan my dear participant please listen this very carefully next 2 3 minutes sip is the magic of the magic for the middle class elderly class person and what is sip priyanka it is just like a recurring account you open with a bank or post office every month you are investing a fixed amount you are investing a fixed amount every month for a longer period but fi uh, sip is a magic how it is magic i just want to give you one example and jinath ma'am and najia ma'am i kindly understand this example very carefully because it might change your thinking of, uh, about investment priyanka one one equity fund was equity fund was started by a mutual fund company in 1995 kindly note down the dates very carefully one equity fund was started in 1995 by a mutual fund company dr najia and a small investor like dr najia started an sip of 10000 rupees per month in that scheme 
means every month on a particular date she is investing 10000 per month right from 1995 again i repeat the dates priyanka because these are very important from 1990 onwards 1995 onwards najia mam is investing 10000 rupees per month in equity fund through sip regularly and one more thing priyanka in that period from 1995 to 2022 market might have gone up market might have gone down many times but najia mam never stopped sip every month religiously she is investing 10000 per month whatever the movement of the market might have been can you imagine priyanka how much money she has got now again i am repeating 10000 per month every year every month from 1995 onwards najia mam can you open a video for a minute if you can 10000 sip has become priyanka 9.57 crore that is the magic of sip for the middle class selling class person where we can start sip of a minimum 100 rupees even a student like priyanka you i will encourage all of you to start an sip of you 100 rupees out of your pocket money minimum sip you can start is 100 rupees maximum no limit and dr najia now i know lot of my people like lot of my friends like dr najia and jinat who have started not one sip but more than one sip and that is target oriented sip specific target oriented means one sip for purchase of house second sip for going on vacation after 5 years third sip for higher education of children after 25 years fourth sip for retirement plan so you can have priyanka more than one sip when you start earning slowly slowly and now you can top it up top it in the sense you you might start with 500 rupees but next year you you can increase from 500 rupees to 1000 rupees because your salary will in, income will, will increase so you can have more than one one sip and on the website priyanka now sip calculators are available suppose uh, najia mam say that she will need 4 crore rupees for higher education of their children after 25 years so period is 25 year target is uh, 4 crore rupees najia mam you put those figures into period and uh, target in the sip calculator sip calculator will give you a broad idea how much sip should start now so sip is a magic for the middle class salary class person and you should consider starting sip but of course after knowing everything about the sip take your time don't be in hurry priyanka take your time one month two month three month six month but then start in sip that is a magic for uh, middle class salary class person and one more unique feature is there in mutual fund priyanka that is called swp systematic withdrawal plan najia mam it is opposite of sip in sip priyanka we are investing every month regularly in swp priyanka we will be withdrawing every month that is suitable when we get retired normally when we get retired priyanka there will be no income but i want some amount every month so what i can do i have accumulated a good corpus for the retirement plan i can write to the company mutual fund company that from next month onwards as i am retiring kindly keep transferring 1 lakh 2 lakh whatever you want from my corpus to my bank account on first and they will do it religiously because that is your money not dr najia they will give you, they will transfer that money every month to your bank account on first what will be the first money dr najia you will have a reasonable amount every month on first you can enjoy your life as you were hither to enjoy second benefit priyanka will be whatever your corpus remain with them it continuously investing so you are continuously earning a return on it so mutual fund is a very very long topic uh, next time if you are interested we can have a dedicated session on mutual fund that will be minimum one and a half or two hours to explain all the categories of thing last thing last two things dr naji i want to tell you and i want your attention to all all your participants you are i don't know whether honorable principal is there vice principal is there or hod is there if they are there sir kindly 
I want to make a special request to all of you. Dr. Najia, there is a menace in our country, which is called Ponji Scheme Chit Fund and Committee. These are frauds. I am using the very harsh word, Dr. Najia. These are frauds. People will come to you, Priyanka, and Priyanka, kindly go to your home today and tell your mother and father very specifically that they should never, never, never invest their hard-earned money in Ponji Scheme Chit Fund and Committee. Because they will give you higher promise, they will they will promise you higher return. But Sabina, it will never happen. They will simply vanish with your money. And Dr. Najia, as a broad survey, 10 lakhs crores of rupees of gullible investors have been lost in such bogus schemes. And Dr. Najia, normally who invests? Not you, not Genus ma'am, not educated person. Normally. You are maid servant, your peon, your taxi driver, your milk vendor, your electrician, your plumber. They normally invest their hard and money in such bogus scheme because of temptation, because of less lack of knowledge. So, Dr. Najia, I will request through you to the honorable principal and vice principal, kindly start a campaign across your area with the help of your students. Educate as much people as you can, Priyanka that they should never, never invest their hard-earned money in Ponji scheme, cheat fund and committee. If they don't know anything, they, they should simply put their money into bank and post office. At least their money will be safe. They will not lose their money. So kindly start a campaign. I will be, because Director Najia, it is your social responsibility. Luckily, we are a little bit more educated. We are more, more aware about such things. So Priyanka, you take this task in your hands under the guidance of Dr. Najia and, and other faculty members and study this campaign in your area. As much people you can reach, that will be a social responsibility. You will feel satisfied that you have been able to uh, share this knowledge at least 100 or 200 people. Last thing I want to tell, and that again through Jeanath Mem, last, last point from Jeanath Mem to all the participants. Priyanka, Prosperity is your right. Every individual has got right to be prosper, Dr. Najia Mem. Every individual. We might have born into a poor family. It is an incident or incidentally, it might have happened, Dr. Najia, that we might have born into a poor family. But Priyanka, we must not live as poor and we must not die as poor. And that is absolutely possible. I can encourage and I can give confidence to all participants, young participants particularly. You should live prosper and you should die as prosper. You must enjoy the fruit of money. You, you, you should enjoy the fruits of prosperity. How? Only through the things which we have discussed today. Very basic things which we have discussed today. And if you, if you have got something out of it, kindly ponder over these things. Kindly think seriously about these things. And if you are prosper, if you become prosper, that will be my written grip from Priyanka and all young participants in your life. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable information. It helps us a lot for our future investments and savings. And um, any question from any participant? Anybody can just raise their hand. We will unmute him or her. They can directly ask the question as well. Sanjay ji, kindly unmute Rakesh Dubey ji. Sanjay ji. Dr. Sanjay. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, kindly unmute that, Dr. Dubey. Before that, Dr. Manjari is there. No problem. First, let, let the Dubey speak. Hello? No problem. No, sorry. Should I? Hello? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sir, I had a question to ask. Uh, under the sovereign gold loan scheme, you said the appreciation differences will be given, right? Yeah. But how about if there is no appreciation and if there is depreciation? Because right now, say, suppose it was, uh, will that affect? In in all probability, over a longer period of time, there has been appreciation at per his, uh, historical data. Mm -hmm. so, so you rest assured, there will be some, of course, there may not be extraordinary appreciation. Mm. But but apart from that, you are already getting 2.5%. Nah? That mm. is there. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you will get is additionality, I am telling you.
बट टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट रिटर्न एवरी ईयर दैट इज इक्वल टू योर एस बी अकाउंट यू विल बी अर्निंग थैंक यू वेरी मच सर दैट इज रियली रियली गुड टॉक सर थैंक यू थैंक यू हाँ दुबे साहब दुबे साहब कैन यू एनम्यूट योर सेल्फ डॉक्टर राकेश दुबे प्लीज एनम्यूट योर सेल्फ ओके सर मैं हिंदी में बोल सकता हूँ अरे बिल्कुल साहब आपकी सुविधा जिससे आपकी सुविधा हो सर आपको सुन के बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत अमेजिंग आपने बताया और मेरी कुछ मैं अबेज मेरी नियरली फिफ्टी है ओके पहले फिफ्टी है पहले तो किसी ने ये बात बताई नहीं जो आपने फर्स्ट फेज बताई थी फर्स्ट टाइम जो है तो इतनी तो जा चुकी है और ये होता जो मिडिल क्लास सरलीड पर्सन होता था तो अपने जो आजकल जैसे दो बच्चे अपने हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ और कुछ चलो गार्जियंस हैं तो इतना कुछ और जैसे ये अभी कोरोना का टाइम चला दो साल से ज्यादा ही और इसमें तो इतना बचत की मतलब अपने बच्चों के वो हेल्थ का जो रेगुलर एक्सपेंसेज हैं वो फिर उनकी एजुकेशन का इन सब के बाद इतना ज्यादा बचत तो नहीं हो पाती है जैसे उसको एक घर तो खरीदना ही है अच्छा या बुरा दूसरा यह है कि उसको जो है बच्चों की पढ़ाई करानी है तो ये बात सही है आप आपसे अगर ये बात सुनने को मिली होती कोई तीस साल की एज में पच्चीस साल की एज में तो शायद ये हो पाया होता तो अब जैसे एस के विषय में मैं सोच रहा था तो क्या ये जैसे हम किसी से बात करते हैं इसमें किस तरह से इन्वेस्ट हम कर सकते हैं और देखिए साहब जहां तक एस की बात है आपकी उम्र आप बता रहे हैं पचास साल है तो करीब करीब दस साल आपके पास अभी बाकी है जी तो दस साल के लिए मैं आपको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि आप ज्यादा रिस्क मत लीजिए एक अच्छे हाइब्रिड फंड में एक एसआईपी स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं ओके सर हाइब्रिड फंड में क्या होता है रिस्क थोड़ा कवर भी हो जाता है ज्यादा आप रिस्क भी नहीं ले रहे हैं और थोड़ा सा रिटर्न भी थोड़ा ज्यादा मिलता है और जब आप पांच जब आप पांच साल और पूरे कर ले मतलब आप पचपन साल के हो जाए तो हाइब्रिड फंड से जितना आपने कमाया जो पैसा बना उसको आप फिर डेट फंड में ट्रांसफर कर दीजिए डेट फंड में रिस्क बहुत कम होता okay. है उसमें ब्याज उसमें रिटर्न कम आता है लेकिन एफडी से बहुत ज्यादा आता है लेकिन उसमें रिटर्न कम आता है लेकिन उसमें है. रिस्क भी कम है ओके सर सर ये कैसे मतलब कितना लगभग कर सकते हैं या क्या टेन थाउजेंड पर मंथ करें तो सर आप ये आप पे डिपेंड करता है आप दस हजार भी कर सकते हैं दस लाख भी कर सकते हैं आप पे डिपेंड करता है आप कितनी सुविधा आपकी सेविंग करने की वो आप पे इंडिविजुअल डिपेंड करता है लेकिन पहले एस के बारे में समझिए okay. पहले आप नेट पे जाइए मैं चार वेबसाइट बता रहा हूं हाँ वो कहा गई प्रियंका कहा है मैं तीन चार वेबसाइट बता रहा हूँ बच्चों को सबको और इवन जो और नाजिया मैम को भी बता रहा हूँ अगर वो चाहें ये तीन चार वेबसाइट राहुल दुबे साहब आप भी नोट कर लीजिए पहली वेबसाइट okay, तो पहली वेबसाइट तो सेबी की है सेबी में एक इन्वेस्टर अवेयरनेस की वेबसाइट अलग से चलाई हुई है उसको आप देखिए वहां बड़ा अच्छा मेटेरियल आपको मिलेगा पढ़ने के लिए उसके बाद में एमफी की वेबसाइट है प्रियंका ए एम एफ आई एम फी की वेबसाइट है म्यूचुअल फंड सही है उसमें आप जाइए वहां अच्छी तरह समझिए इसमें क्या क्या होता है तीसरी बात ये प्राइवेट वेबसाइट है मैं इनकी मार्केटिंग नहीं कर रहा हूं लेकिन अच्छी वेबसाइट है इसलिए आपको शेयर कर रहा हूं वैल्यू रिसर्च वी ए एल यू वैल्यू रिसर्च ये एक अच्छी वेबसाइट है उसके बाद में मनी कंट्रोल मनी कंट्रोल एक अच्छी वेबसाइट है जहां आप जा सकते हैं और आखिरी में ईटी मनी इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स मनी ईटी मनी यहां छोटे 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 वीडियोज भी हैं एमसी की वेबसाइट पे 25 30 वीडियो हैं ईटी मनी पे बहुत छोटे छोटे वीडियो हैं ईटी मनी ये सारी वेबसाइट को और भी हजारों वेबसाइट है ये तो मेरे दिमाग में चंद चीज आ रहा मैं नहीं कह रहा यही सब कुछ है और भी दुनिया बहुत बड़ी है तो आप अच्छा अपने आप का पहले प्रियंका पहले पढ़िए ज्ञान बढ़ाइए एस आई क्या होती है कैसे चालू की जाती है क्या फायदे हैं क्या क्या रिस्क हैं एक महीना पहले अपना ज्ञान बढ़ाने पे दीजिए दुबे साहब एक महीने में कोई दुनिया okay. नहीं बदल जाएगी उसके बाद में जो आपको अच्छा लगता है उसमें फिर आप इन्वेस्टमेंट करने का एक रास्ता बनाइए नहीं सर हमें हमारा एक और दायित्व तो है चूंकि मैं प्रिंसिपल हूँ कॉलेज का और पिछले तो मेरा ये दायित्व तो है मैं बहुत अच्छा समझ पाया कि आपने चूंकि इस मामले में मैं कहूँ तो इलिटरेट ही था इलिटरेट ही कहूंगा अपने को इकोनॉमिकली हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट स्मार्टली तो मैं जबकि पंद्रह साल से ज्यादा हो गया प्रिंसिपल हूँ 
नहीं लेकिन इस मामले में हम आपके कॉलेज में एक अच्छा हम आपके कॉलेज में प्रोग्राम रख सकते हैं आप अपना डिटेल शेयर कर दीजिए चैट बॉक्स में जी ओके संजय जी आपसे संपर्क में रहेंगे ठीक है सर बच्चों को भी थोड़ा सा इसके विषय में जानकारी हो तो अच्छा रहेगा मैं बता पाऊँ तो कभी ठीक है सर ओके हम करेंगे हम भविष्य में धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप आए थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू और एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनी पार्टिसिपेंट uh sir uh, karnashree wants to ask you yeah. that uh, if she can invest in mahindra mutual funds mahindra mutual fund kanishree mahindra mutual fund to nahi hai kaun sa bata rahe hai aap mujhe samajh mein nahi aaya aap kisi bhi mutual fund mein kar sakte hain uska mujhe koi recommendation nahi hai aapki lekin basic aapko pehle samajhna padega take your time to decide jaldbazi mat kijiye आप बेसिक समझिए आपकी रिस्क एपिटाइट देखिए हमेशा दुबे साहब मैंने एक बात बताई यहां अभी दोबारा रिपीट कर रहा हूं हर इन्वेस्टमेंट अपनी रिस्क एपिटाइट के अनुसार होना चाहिए हमारे टाइम हरोइजन के अनुसार होना चाहिए कोई प्रोडक्ट बुरा नहीं है कोई भी प्रोडक्ट बुरा नहीं है दुबे साहब लेकिन अगर मैं बच्चों को बोलूं कि आप एफ में डालिए तो वो ठीक नहीं है क्योंकि बच्चे रिस्क ले सकते हैं लेकिन दुबे साहब को बोलू कि आप हार्ड कोड इक्विटी में डालिए वो भी मेरा गलत होगा क्योंकि दुबे साहब इतना रिस्क नहीं ले सकते तो हमेशा आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट आपकी रिस्क एपिटाइट के अनुसार और आपके टाइम होराइजन ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट के अनुसार होना चाहिए दैट इज द क्रक्स ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट सक्सेस एनी अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनी पार्टिसिपेंट राजा गोपाल साहब एक्सक्यूज मी सर या या सर मंजरी वांट्स टू नो एन इज देर एनी वेबसाइट टू कैलकुलेट इनकम टैक्स शिल्पा गायकवाड़ गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून शिल्पा Uh, thank you for the information but i have a doubt yeah um, if we invest in mutual funds uh, that means uh, we are giving some amount to the someone who has knowledge right but unfortunately if the owner has got loss then even we will get the uh, interest for our amount no 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 not at all you are very right you are the right question in mutual fund there is no guarantee shilpa Okay. There is no guarantee of any return or investment, but probability of getting higher return for longer period after five ten years. That is a probability only. One more thing, I Shilpa, I want to say that Najia, ma'am, if you are here now, so one more thing, I want to say, Prenka, I want to tell you, uh, young people like you, this is my perception only. Next twenty five years are going to be golden period of for Indian economy, Dubey Sir. अगले 25 साल हमारी देश की अव्यवस्था के बड़े स्वर्णिम काल होने वाले हैं मेरा ऐसा मानना है लेकिन प्रियंका किसको फायदा होगा ओनली दो इन्वेस्टर्स और प्रियंका इस दुनिया में दो देर आर टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ पर्सन आई डोंट नो विच कैटेगरी यू बिलोंग टू यू डिसाइड यूर सेल्फ द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ पर्सन दो गो टू द स्टेडियम ईट पॉपकॉर्न टेक कोल्ड ड्रिंक क्लैप एंड कम होम they get nothing they are spectators but the who are real beneficiary players who play in the ground 11 players or 12 20 players so you have to be a player to get the benefit of investment you you should not be a spectator you have to be a player active player for getting the uh, benefit of investment success yeah any other question from any side so so zinat ma'am wants to ask about ethical mutual funds basically there are ethical not ethical mutual funds there are, uh, jinat ma'am shariat compliant mutual fund schemes are available i i i, I think she has some uh, uh, her mind this uh, this concept shariat compliant mutual funds schemes are available jinat ma'am where you can invest where your money will be invested into ethical companies only Any other questions, Priyanka, or we can wind it up. 
So Zenith ma'am is asking that if it is safe to invest online. Yeah, definitely hundred percent safe, provided you invest directly on the website of the mutual fund company. Not go through the uh, some agents or uh, there are a lot of other uh, category of uh, facilitators are there on, in the websites. But I will recommend them go directly on the website of the mutual fund company. Then there are there are literally no chances of any fraud. Amtul Vayab is asking uh, an example for Sharia mutual fund. There are three, four schemes. Nippon has got one mutual fund scheme. You visit the Nippon website. Then you visit the Tata website. Tata also has got some one or two Sharia compliant schemes. Four mutual fund companies have got in all Sharia compliant mutual funds. You can visit the websites of those companies. Select the Sharia compliant mutual fund scheme and then read and uh, get knowledge of those uh, schemes. Okay, Priyanka, I don't think uh, there, is, there are more questions now. Sir, yeah. Shilpa wants to ask you some questions. Yeah, yeah, Shilpa, yeah. continue. Uh, Shilpa. Okay, thank you, sir. And I guess we have uh, tax on the amount we invested in the mutual funds. No, no. In, when you invest in the mutual fund and for that matter, security market, Shilpa, sir. basically, this is not income tax, that is capital gain you have to pay. And capital gain is relatively much lesser if you continue investing for the longer period. Long-term capital gain is a concept, uh, which is a technical thing otherwise. But I want to tell you that if you are a long-term investor, your tax liability will be much more relatively lesser as compared to your normal income. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shilpa. So, Veena is asking that how? How can we find it is a safe or not to invest in a particular company? No, I was not talking about the company, then you are talking about investing directly. If you are investing directly into the shares of any particular company, then again, I, as I told Priyanka, you must have adequate knowledge of the security market. Unless and until you have knowledge of the market, better you avoid investing directly. And Zenith ma'am is asking to suggest the website to invest through online. Online, there are a lot of websites. Actually, I can't suggest any particular website, Priyanka, because you will appreciate that will be indirect marketing of those websites. Very honestly speaking, I want to avoid such things in my session because I don't want a tag that I, 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 uh, I complimented or I supported some website. Because there are hundreds of websites online that you can do. You have to you have to devote your time, Dr. Najia Mem. One thing I want to tell you all your participants: kindly devote your time. It is your money, your hard-earned money. Why you want why you want to take it investment very easy? That is why I tell in my uh, I told in my session never follow others for investment. You should not even follow me if I say something to you because that is your money. It is not my money. So before investing, you should take at each and every precaution. And you must get adequate knowledge before investing. I think we are done with the question, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Done. Uh, we can wind it up now. Sir, uh, Raj Gopal, sir, should give com concluding remarks. Yeah. So, and thank I you, sir, for answering all the questions patiently. Thank you. Sir, good afternoon. And Rajgopal sir, I will be, I will sir. be, I will feel obliged if you give your observation about the session as well. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Uh, it was a very great uh, learning experience. Firstly, I would like to thank uh, Sanjay sir for uh, collaborating with our uh, prestigious college, University College for Women, Koti Hyderabad. And secondly, I would like to thank uh, Surekan sir for sharing your uh, wonderful experience and knowledge. Uh, sir, uh, we are fortunate to have you as a keynote speaker and uh, we have given a brief and uh, excellent uh, idea for making the savings and investment decisions. So you have concentrated on uh, life insurance, medical insurance, security, prosperity uh, on gold and uh, money accumulates, wealth creators, pensioners, financial planning, 
all uh, the major aspects of a human where we can make these savings and uh, investments in our daily life. Uh, you have concentrated very well, sir. We would like to uh, uh, see forward to make a workshop regarding this uh, as offline. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, giving the opportunity for us to uh, encourage in uh, making the savings and investment in the mutual funds. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Raj Gopal, sir, I, I'm thankful to you, Dr. Najia, particularly, Jeanette, ma'am, of course, Priyanka, very lovely young, young investor. I see in her Priyanka, very, very effective young investors in the coming years to come. I am also thankful to the Honorable Principal, Vice Principal, HOD, and all the uh, dignitaries of your college. And Dr. Najia, we would be very happy to have continued relationship with your esteem uh, institutions. On, on topics related to savings and investment. We can have a separate session on security market for your students. We can have a separate session on mutual funds. We can have even a separate session on regulations in India. Financial regulations in India, it is also a very good topic for your students to learn about. So we can have a lot of things, a uh, lot of sessions we can plan. And of course, Rajagopal sir, when the situation normalizes, I would be very happy to come to your college as well for having a physical program. Yeah, there. in fact, sir, we were requesting, Sanjay, sir, if you could go for a physical one this time as well. But because of COVID restrictions, uh, you know, that's not possible. Um, probably, you know, in near future, we would surely go for a, a, a program where we would invite you personally to our college and then our students would have the benefit of interacting with you in person. Definitely. It will be my privilege, rather. I would be more than happy to be there. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And special thanks to Dr. Sanjay Agrawal for coordinating this event with Dr. Najia and all organizing team members. Sanjay Agrawal, sir, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Deepak Ji, ka bahut bahut he has joined again. It's the second or third time I think that Dr. Deepak has joined. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Najia. Yeah, uh, Priyanka I would propose a yeah. formal vote of thanks, sir. Okay. Sir. So, good afternoon, everyone. Okay. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this webinar to all dignitaries assembled here. Firstly, I would like to thank our honorable keynote speaker for today's session. To Rikant Sharma, sir, for sharing valuable information in US. And thanks to Mr. San Anjay Agarwal, sir, who coordinated this entire event on behalf of Association of Mutual Funds of India. And I would like to thank our respected principal, Professor uh, Vijilata, ma'am, for permitting us to conduct this webinar. And I want to thank uh, Dr. B. Shailaja, ma'am, vice principal, for the immense support. And I would like to also thank uh, our HOD of Commerce, Professor M. Gangada, sir, and for letting us to conduct this webinar. And I thank Dr. Nazia Sultana, ma'am, and D. Raj Gopal, sir, for organizing this webinar. All the efforts done by you are appreciated. And last but not the least, I thank all, all those students who joined today and made this webinar a grand success. I especially appreciate the students who joined this session despite of their exams. And I thank all the students and uh, professors of others call, uh, other colleges who joined. And let us conclude this webinar with the national anthem. So I request everybody to stand for national anthem, please. <laughs> Unmute yourself if possible, all the students. Shall we start with the national anthem? Sir? Yes, yes. Janagana mana adhina yak jaye Bharat bhagya vidata Punjab sind gujarat maratha Javid kanabanga Vindya himachal yamuna ganga Uchal jaravitaranga Tabashupana make javi Tabashupa shishamahe Javi 
जनक नमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदास जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय भारत माता की जय जय थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू good bye everyone have a nice thank day you. thank you very much and thanks on the participants who you joined from pan india on very soon you will receive your certificate in your email thank you thank you rajgopal sir sanjay sir thank you so much for completing thank you thank you sir thank you, thank you so thank much you, dr madhya thank you thank, thank you dr dube sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you sir have a great day ahead thank you dr rajesh dubey you can unmute yourself